guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Dick, and yes, I went ahead and got my hair braided. You guys have never seen me on the channel get hair, my hair braided, and I finally did it. Or maybe that's cap. I received this beautiful full lace wig, and it is a braided lace wig. Now, this one did come courtesy of Fancy BB, and there's so many amazing things about this. For starters, look how beautiful the actual wig is. This one also fits glueless. As you guys can see, it's very long. They are butt length, but they are very lightweight. They're not heavy and weighed down. And it's because I use Japanese fibers, so you definitely don't have to worry about taking all day to get your hair braided. It saves so much time. It's a quick install, and you'll see exactly how I install it. But you'll also see how well this one hugs my head. It's a full lace wig that actually fits my head from ear to ear. This is an amazing quality wig. You don't have to go and sit at the salon and spin hundreds of dollars to get your hair braided and spend hours and hours trying to get it done and then hours and hours out trying to take it out when it's done. It's all done for you. So of course you guys already know I have a direct link to this wig in the description box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay ladies, jumping right into it, showing you the wig literally straight out of the box. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a 36 inch square knotless double full lace wig. This is box braids and it's literally braided all the way down to the end. I'm going to show you every single square inch of this wig in detail. So don't you worry your little heart out. Here I'm showing you very, very well the inside construction of the cap. It does include an adjustable elastic band. This is just going to add a little bit of extra grip and support and comfort to your wig. It also does have the um, straps in the back, even though it's a full lace wig and it includes combs and just everything you need. I went ahead and cut off the excess lace around the back from ear to ear at the nape. This way I don't have to worry about cutting it off once the wig is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the wig and I'm just going to go ahead and put the adjustable elastic band on first. Once it's secured in the position I like, I'm going to put the wig on in the back, making sure to tuck the comb underneath my braids. And I love the fact that this one does have baby hair in the back. Again, don't forget to tuck the comb into your braids. This is going to give you the most like realistic look with your full lace wig. This is my initial like viewing or like the first time I'm putting this wig on. And I super, super, super am impressed with this wig. I went ahead and put it up so we can begin the install process. And I'm just admiring everything about it. Here I'm cutting off the ear tabs. Although I already cut off all of the lace at the back of the wig, I did not cut off the ear tabs just yet. I wanted to do it on um, with the wig on. That way I didn't cut off too much because it definitely e is easy to cut off too much. Here is a look at the very tip or ends of the braids. They braided it all the way down so they couldn't anymore. And then they twist the very ends so that the hair is braided literally from root to tip. And like the tip, it, like I said before, it's twist, but it blends and camouflages so it looks like it's just braided from root to end. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Another thing I'll mention about how it's twisted at the end is that if you wear these for days and days, you never have to worry about them coming unraveled. Whatever magic they use, they stay in place and they won't come unraveled even though it's not like um, knotted or there's no rubber band at the end. Here I went ahead and removed all of the excess lace and now I'm going to just go ahead and tint the lace with the foundation powder in a shade or two darker than my complexion. This is just going to warm up the lace because this is a full lace wig. I wanted to be able to make sure that the entire wig or all of the lace mimics my scalp and just blends with my complexion a little bit better. Now I'm going in with a nice good pair of tweezers and I'm just going to tweeze out the baby hair they provided. It's key and essential that a wig um, with braids has baby hair in the front. You want to thin it out so that it looks a little bit more natural and also trim it down shorter to your face shape. But this is just going to help so that it doesn't look like a Barbie doll hair or like a box wig. It looks very much more natural when you do have baby hair in the front. I'm going to add mousse to form the baby hair, but notice that the wig is not bonded down. We completely skipped that step and as you guys can see, the wig is suctioned onto my head perfectly. It fits glueless perfectly. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and after I form the baby hair and I'm going to actually add that glueless adhesive I typically would. I want it to stay in place because I do want to be able to do like high buns and high ponytails. So although it does fit glueless and I didn't need to do this, number one, I want it to be super melted. And number two, like I said before, I want to make sure that I can put it in high ponytails and buns without it slipping or sliding. Now I went ahead and blow dried that on a cool setting and once it was completely dry, I removed the mill belt and I just added a little bit of the Sebastian Shapers to give the lace a more melted look. Now I've already tinted the lace but I'm just going to go in and spot fix any areas that just need a little bit more tinting so that the entire thing is warm. Now we've completed the look and I want to show you a little bit of a close up in detail of like my inspector gadget inspection of the wig. Although I bonded it down, this is like some time later and I'm just showing you how um, it doesn't need to be bonded down. It's not glueless. It's not bonded down at this point and it's just sitting on my head and it looks like it's like a whole full install. Here is a look at the length of the braids as well as the lace from the back. I wanted you to get a really, really good uh, perception of how beautiful and gorgeous and detailed this wig is. Um, this is a full lace wig and it's braided and it fits like a glove. Now what I will say is that my braids under here are just atrocious. So if my braids were nice and fresh, it would be even better. But don't pay attention to my braids being bulky. Here is a full length check on the wig. I believe this is 36 inches in length. I'll have the, all of the details in the description box, including a direct link. This is what it looks like in a ponytail. And again, it's not bonded down at this point. And as you guys can see, it doesn't slip and slide, even though I was nervous about that. You can also see the detail of the baby hair at the nape of the neck. That also is key in making sure that the wig looks a lot more natural. It looks amazing in a ponytail. And then I'm going to twist it around and it looks just as amazing in a bun. And I'm just going to secure that so you guys can see everything about this one is beautiful gorgeous 10 out of 10 highly recommend okay ladies so we are done with this look and i'm so excited now i'm not even gonna lie i've done quite a few like braided wig tutorials over the last what like five six seven eight years that i've been on youtube and starting like i feel like i have a little bit of like not trauma but like a little kind of like a little bit of trauma when it comes to these things because starting back all those years ago trying to get a braided wig like I mean I thought it was amazing five years ago but it was atrocious and so over the years they definitely have come a long way and so when Fancy VB reached out and wanted to send me this beautiful wig I was definitely very apprehensive because like I don't want it to look crazy if it's like a full frontal wig with braids i don't want the braids to look cheap or synthetic and as you guys can see they're not too like high gloss or shiny they don't look like synthetic wig they look like what my braids will look like and this at the ends looks like it's freshly dipped and it's actually like kind of like twisted i guess you would call it well it's not twisted it's braided so it braids all the way down and at some point at the very end they twist it and they're not going to like unravel or anything like that. It reminds me when my cousins, my older cousins used to braid my hair and they would use like the lighter at the ends to um, kind of like burn the ends and they wouldn't be burnt. They just wouldn't unravel. I don't know what the technique is of what they did, but they did an amazing job doing it. The lace is amazing and this wig is not actually like bonded down. Now I did use this to kind of melt it, but the wig itself fits my head. I wanted to melt it down because again, this is a lot of lace having a full frontal wig and I wanted to make sure I executed it right. I didn't want to do the glueless thing and it kind of like not melt the right way. So that is why I did it. Now they did also provide a great amount of baby hair. This is key because again, like the demarcation of where the braids stop, you don't really just want it to be just straight across because that's going to give like beauty support. I don't care how amazing the wig is. If there's nothing in front of it, it's for sure going to give like beauty supply store hair. Like I've never seen a braided wig and it didn't have baby hair and it looked amazing or natural or like somebody actually braided your hair so i'm absolutely in love with the fact that this one just cuts down time you guys rarely see me get braids i haven't really gotten braids since high school just because i don't have the time to sit for eight hours six hours in somebody's chair and let them braid my hair and then like even worse than that that's not even the biggest issue the issue is like me having to like take them down by myself not having like my mom here or like a sister here that can like help me take them down like 
So having a wig that is like already ready to go, and as you guys can see, if it's glueless, it's very easy to install. There is no like, not too much that I need to do. I am absolutely sold. This is the packaging here, and as, as I mentioned, the name is Fancy VV. It's a nice drawstring bag, and it's nice and large, so the braids definitely fit in there. And then inside, just simple and sweet. It was just a packet, and it has a pack of wig caps in there. Um, some nice thin natural eyelashes and then the little braid um, jewels you guys know we love these the little jewels here that um, you wear on your braided wigs I probably will wear those tomorrow but for tonight I kind of just want to keep them as is and then they also give a milk belt which I didn't realize until right now but it does say fancy BB on it super nice and again I love this because it's flat on my head so this one is a full hand side lace um, it provides the most realistic look what you guys can see this looks like I got my hair actually braided and then it's not heavy as you guys can see they're super long and I did notice that is that they're really long but it's not heavy because a lot of times when you get really really long like butt length braids it is heavy and it weighs you down this feels very thin and light and it's because they use Japanese fibers and that just reduces the weight so I do love that about this one you guys already know there's a direct link to this wig in the description box I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures in this one because I'm absolutely in love but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys always don't forget to check this one out in the description box where there is a direct link also all the few things that I did use to complete this look are there as well and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches